Good morning. If you watched part 5 of the Revit House Structural Tutorial series, I showed you how to do this manually. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join these roofs properly, and how to join the walls to the roof by making them pitched. Thanks to a comment from AG69, I looked into it and found a way of doing things automatically. So, thanks AG69. Now let's get into it. I have this whole process documented in written form at technicaldraft.com. The article goes deeply into detail about showing you step by step on how to join roofs in Revit for those of you who like to read. Okay, now if you're following that house tutorial series, ignore all this, we're gonna add these later. I was just playing around. So let's quickly add a roof. Let's make this quick. Um, architecture roof. You all remember how to make a roof, don't you? So I'm just doing this quickly. If you want to know, if you if this is your first time seeing this, then just go into the uh, uh, structural tutorial series, and that'll show you exactly how to do it. Now I want two more roofs over here. Now you can join this wall to this roof like this. Let me turn off shadows for a sec. If you select the wall and come up to here, attach top base and then select the roof, this happens. You don't have to draw a pitched wall manually. I showed you how to draw a pitched wall manually because it's good to know how to do everything manually and then you'll appreciate the automatic tools as well. I really like this. Alright, let's fix up uh, another roof here and I'm making these 40 degrees. By the way, this doing it this way helps to make your walls accurate. You won't have some of those problems which I ran into in the structural tutorial. Let's have a look at it. Okay, now I'm going to join these three walls to that roof. Very simply, like this. Nice. Okay, we have our pitch roofs here. So I want to join this pitch roof to this roof here. So I select it and if you see this tool, join, unjoin roof and watch this little animation, that's exactly what it does there. So select the tool and you need to click on one of the lines that are on the face of what you want to uh, extend into this roof here. So I'm going to select any line and when I hover over the side of the pitched roof notice how it borders around selecting the whole face click and there you have it exactly as needed okay now we're gonna attach these walls to this roof here And if you get this error message, I'll show you how to fix that. So just hit unjoin elements, click the wall that's giving you a problem and detach top base. Then try to attach it to this one. Then try to attach it to this one. And there you go, fixed your problem. Let's do the same for this side. Okay. Okay, and here's your finished roof with all the walls pitched. If you notice any gaps like this, just do the same with them. If you try to copy the pitched roof over it causes problems so just draw a separate one 
Don't forget to visit technicaldraft.com and subscribe.